Good morning, good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Making this video really quick. Um, first of all, to say hello. And please forgive my cat in the background. <laughs> that gives me a hard time. I'm working from home today. But um, after this, I go to my second job. And then the next two days, I work in the, the office at my first job. So it's been a lot going on, actually, in my life. That's why I took a, a break. And it's still a lot going on. Okay. Just getting on here to share the scripture. But to tell you guys, you know, I have not forget about you guys. I love my YouTube family. I love making videos. But I do have to take a small break. And that's what I'm going to do. I haven't made a video in, what, about a week or so, maybe? And uh, it'll be, an, um, I'm going to take the rest of this week and just be in prayer and studying God's word and working and um, just trying to focus on a lot of stuff that's going on with me personally. So I won't be making videos this week. That's why I'm really getting on today to share that with you guys on why I haven't made them. And I asked, what, this would be like the second week. So, yes, I'm keeping my page because I love doing these videos. I love doing it, actually. But um, I do have to take some time to myself. So, and in prayer. And that's what I, I'm, that's what I'm going to be doing. Especially this week, I'm really trying to hear from God about some things. So, forgive me for not making videos, but the spiritual warfare has been extremely high. Uh, I don't, I, uh, it's been really bad, okay? If you live for God, you're going to be attacked in more ways than one. And I'm actually supposed to be working because I get off early from this job, but then I go to my next one. But I just wanted to get on here to to say hello, to let you guys know again, I have not forget about you guys. I just had to take a couple of weeks. And especially this week, I'll be in prayer and, and things. So uh, trying to get some answers to some things that's going on with me personally. And I really need to hear from God about it. So, don't think I'm never going to make a video again, because I am, Lord willing, if God puts something on my heart next week, then I'll be back to doing it. And, um, but this week, I'll definitely be focusing on God, and I suggest you guys do the same. Um, I feel in these end times, we're really going to need to be praying a lot. Things are happening at full speed. The new world order is getting set in place, and I can't go into detail about what I really want to. But the new world order is getting set in place. We're seeing things happening in our world today, in, in our weather, in violence. And it's going to continue to increase and get bad because... You know, these are the end times. The Bible has to be fulfilled regardless. The only way we're going to make it is through prayer and through reading God's word. And um, get you a prayer warrior partner. I've been talking with my auntie a lot more lately and we're going to be praying together more. You know, it's needed because my strength has started to feel depleted spiritually and physically. I felt it I felt like giving up not on God but just on on things because it had got so bad like the spiritual warfare was so strong that I felt like I barely could handle it at one point and um it's nothing but God's strength that's keeping me literally and I know that's why I slowed down on videos um, because I really need to focus on my prayer life more and I need to focus on getting my strength back because when those darts are coming from straight Satan, they're coming hard and we need and I need to make sure I'm spiritually strong 
and that I have on the armor of God to defeat what the enemy is trying to do, which is destroy. He's trying to destroy me. He's trying to destroy my family. He's trying to destroy everything that's connected to God. He hates me. He hates you. And it's only through the Holy Spirit and the strength of God and through prayer and through reading his word, that is what's going to keep us in these end times. And I was watching this video earlier and I was, I was listening to it as I was working. And I was amazed um, how it was saying, talking about the Lamb's Book of Life. That's why I have the scripture pulled up. It really um, did something to me. How, you know how a lot of people's goals are to be rich or to be um, this or to be a doctor or to be that. And yeah, it's okay to have those personal life goals. But in the end, we need to have our eternal goal. And the eternal goal is for God to say, welcome, my good and faithful servant. I don't want to ever hear God say, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I don't want to ever go to him on judgment day and be turned away. So my eternal goal, my one of my life goals, which will last eternally, is to have my name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Because if our name is not in that book, we're not going to heaven. We're going to go to hell. And I wanted to share that scripture with you guys. Okay, from the book of Revelation. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Okay, another scripture from Revelation 21. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So that's where, that, that's what my goal, my, my lifetime goal is, to have my name written in the Lamb's book of life. Revelation 20, verse 15, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. That's not somewhere I want to go. That's not somewhere you guys want to go. And um, I just wanted to share that scripture with you guys because it really brought a, a stronger remembrance to me as well to make sure we're not laying up our treasures here on earth, but that we're focused more on things eternal because we don't want to be left here left behind once the rapture comes we don't want to die in sin we don't you know i heard of someone i, I didn't know them personally but um i i know them because i worked with them and their sister who was probably my age or a little younger died i don't know if she died in her sleep i'm not sure how she died but i heard she passed and i think she was either my age or younger it, it's like if we're not if we're living a life of sin and drinking and partying Guess what? We can die in our sleep. We can die in our cars, driving somewhere. Anything can happen any day. And it's so good to be prepared because we never know. God's not going to look at, well, you know your 40th birthday is coming, so let me keep you around. No, look, if it's our time, it's our time. And whether that's in the rapture or through death, we need to make sure we're living right, correct? So let's make sure we stay in repentance. Let's make sure... Um, we're continually seeking God because that's what I'm going to be doing, especially all this week. So that's why I have not been making videos. I've been going through a lot my own self to the point where I barely could talk to him at one point. It was just so strong, the, the um, warfare. So keep me in prayer. I'll definitely make sure to keep you guys in prayer. Again, please don't be mad that I haven't made videos. I'm going to keep my channel. I love my channel. I feel the Lord led me to make this channel for a reason, which was to warn people. But however, I also have to focus on things that's happening in my life as well and get my strength up as well to be able to endure 
these times that have come upon us. And um, we can definitely endure it with the Holy Spirit and with prayer. We can definitely endure it. Okay. I love you guys with the love of Christ. Don't forget to live for God today. Tomorrow is not promised. Um, I will not be making any more videos this week. However, Lord willing, next week, um, I should be back to my videos if, that, if the Lord says the same. Again, stay focused and stay looking up because our King is soon to come. Our King is soon to come. You guys have a blessed day and a blessed week. Just really wanted to get on here and not just to share that scripture, but to tell you guys why I wasn't making videos. I love you. Bye.